As you may have heard, the Amtrak Adirondack is once again cancelled. If you haven't heard, that's probably because Amtrak has not made any sort of announcement, and a few rail fans in New York and Quebec happened to notice only a day before the cancellation took effect. The reason for this hasty cancellation is none other than our good friend Canadian National. Historically, every summer, the Adirondack suffers delays over the Canadian National Rouse's Point subdivision between Montreal and the border. This is primarily due to heat restrictions, which brings the track speed down to 10 miles per hour over pretty much the entire line. Not that that's much worse than what it is normally. In the past, Amtrak and New York State have chosen to just deal with the delays, but ever since the COVID shutdown in 2020, New York State seems to prefer not to run the Adirondack over providing service. Since I can't find anything about the cancellation outside of Railfan Facebook groups, I posted a notice on my YouTube community tab and got countless replies. Many disappointed and even some having to change travel plans. When will the Adirondack resume running? I genuinely have no idea, but I will post on my community tab and down in the comments when it happens. This video is simply a notice and isn't a full analysis, but I will say the solution may lie with Windsor Station and an exclusively CP route. Both New York State and Canadian National are not doing their part in keeping communities and cities linked by passenger rail. When will we decide that enough's enough and improve this important and scenic rail service? I'm not the kind of person to demand anything, but I sure would like reliable passenger rail service back in my town, and I think three and a half years is long enough to wait. I'm North Country Trains, and I'll hopefully see you out on the rails if Amtrak, Canadian National, and New York State can get their act together soon.